Tony went in for an elective bowel operation and he died of sepsis three days later. He had no other health condition, so his death came as a complete shock. A month after his death, in response to a question I asked, the consultant told me he had to interrupt Tony's operation to attend a trauma case in another theatre. I was shocked to hear that, and I raised my concerns in a letter to the hospital. The reply took two months and confirmed a two-hour cessation whilst Tony lay open on an operating table, awaiting the consultant's return. Their reply raised even more questions, but I sensed their reluctance to engage further with me. My follow-up questions were not addressed and no further explanations were offered. I was told I had been given all the information. It was nine years later that I found out that a review had been done. I began legal process to get answers, but this came with worries of financial considerations. Independent medical reviews cost me a lot of money. I had our daughter to think of, a farm to manage, and my grief to address. I remember feeling abandoned to navigate a system I did not understand. I think just having someone there to facilitate communication between the health service provider and my family would have made a huge difference. I think if I had been aware of the review and it had been proactively shared with me by the health services provider and my questions answered in a transparent, timely way, the added stress surrounding my husband's unexpected death could have been avoided. The past cannot be changed and the future depends on the will to do better. Supporting people after adverse incidents is part of that. As a member of Patients for Patient Safety, we actively engage to encourage truthful engagement with patients and their families following adverse incidents and provide diligent supports to empower healthcare providers to practice open disclosure. I spent a lot of time wondering why and how this happened. Open communication could have eased what was already a very tragic time for me and my family.